thank you all for come tuning today again uh, for my part two and welcome back so let's get started hi this is David Abdullah welcome you all to my channel if you are tuning in for the first time welcome and if you are returning then very welcome welcome as I promised to keep this one short, uh, therefore, without any further delays, let's start. Oh, by the way, uh, for those you prefer please let me know. So, I am going to do a video in Bangla. Uh, or you are welcome to my website and subscribe there. So, once I updated my blog, you will be notified by email uh, just clicking the link below down in the de description if you want to make something different then you have to perform it well you will find people doing same thing and same style over and over exactly or the similar way doing by their either the people they're following or learn differently learn blindly uh, some people do sometimes differently, but very little here and there, but there is nothing original or something they can claim that is their own. When you see from outside as a third person, you can see how much similarity because that is they've been performing and they, as I said, they learned blindly. For me, those who do things differently outside the box, within reason, are the best. You have to take the risk doing something differently. Problem is in our society and the policies that we do not like the changes, especially if that breaks the habit of watching something same and similar. I took risks several times in my life because that's the way I like to do, but I was told off. I faced not exactly threatened, but I was told I would lose my job or they will strip my career but do you think that i backed off and if you do then you are sadly mistaken so I, what i have done i started doing the same thing tweaked it i tweaked a little bit and then i performed it the way because i know that this is the reason they told me off so i tweaked it but i kept it the way i've done i have doing it because i changed it so I didn't want to back it off because that's why I don't like it. Do you think that make any better results? Well, I was promoted mainly or uh, many times in my life, in my, uh, wherever, wherever I was. Also, I've been told that they praise me behind my back, which is, I really appreciate it. And that was not only once or twice, many times. Like here in YouTube, my videos are different <laughs> and I'm sure uh, because you guys probably see me a different way that I haven't got many subscribers. I got over thousands of friends uh, social media, but when it comes to subscribe my channel here on YouTube or on my website even, or like my videos, there are not many at all. Why? Because I am different and people do not like the changes, but I am willing to take that risk. I believe perhaps one day I will get that break and people as well as my present subscribers will start tuning my channel more often. I'm not saying they are not tuning in now, but I believe it will be more often. So my advice is take the risk. Sometimes if, it, if you want to make it different for you and for the people around you, so the point is here is take risk. We all been there. We've been there more or less where we were intimidated or humiliated or been harmed. Well, I'm talking about bullies. Some people they're some, themselves are a bully. They see or the way I see is those people who bullying other around because it's not for showing off and to get the popularity but deep down they are weak and they got so many things to be ashamed of so to hide those things they become a bully now majority majority of us been brought up so to respect others not to fight 
not to fight for fun or harming the vulnerable, not to be, to be polite. So when you work hard, perform your duties or your whatever you're doing, way better than others, there will be always someone, some people who won't like those good work. And be honest with you that your honesty, they will start going after you by bullying for no reasons. But there are many others who does not want to involve in this thing. Involvement even they can see what is going on or in front of them. Within them, majority in numbers can easily stand up for those vulnerable, weak people. But they think by doing that, which is mean stand up, they will be targeted next. For both types of people, there's two options. Either you back down and be coward for the rest of your life. And the second option is to face those bullies and push them so hard that they will dare to lift a finger or voice to any people, either they are weak or vulnerable or not. Now, for those who are weak and vulnerable, my first advice is not to back down not to run away showing your back today. Because if you do, you will face it all over again tomorrow. So when you see you are about to face that types of treatment, step up, hit them hard with your knowledge and by your work, those you performing best. Before they can even look at you for the second time, what they're gonna do is, by because you stood up, they will join you to raise their own game. The thing is, if you fail to hold your ground after you push them away, you might back them off now, but they will come back in a different situation in your life. So my second advice will be, don't let your guard down and do not become a bully by doing that so that other people will hurt and your action. So the lesson here is face down the bully. Now we all trained up for some specific jobs. Some are easy, some are harder than the other. When we perform any job for first time, it's always harder, but get it, it get easier as time passes. I remember myself preparing for an oral interview, which was the key to my proficiency certificate. I was so pumped up. I was so super ready. So I arrived at the exam hall way before they call, they will call me in. Uh, and also because I was on the first on the list. I was going through some very common questions. Normally they ask to, you know, at the beginning, so they ease you up or to they just check how much or how they're gonna, how they're gonna start or how the examiner will proceed. As I was so ready, none of those questions were giving me any problem. So what I have done, I push everything away. I sat alone in the front of the exam room so that I can compose myself for the exam. So when the time came bang on nine o'clock in the morning, I felt the door seems a mile away. My legs were felt like jelly and I was when I went inside the room and when they asked me to sit down opposite to the examiner and his, his training, I was feeling that the whole room was floating and the room was circling around me. But did I say that both of them were full face captain with a huge experience? I don't know how or what I told them when they asked me about myself in general. So when he asked me my first question, I froze. He asked me again, yet I couldn't answer it. He paused, then asked me the second question. At that point, I stood up. I asked his permission to give a couple of minutes so I could remove my jacket because I was jacket and coat tie and everything on. So, uh, and also because they, they took their coat off at the, before they sit down. Uh, so I stood up and I asked if I could remove my jacket. Obviously, it wasn't, it was an excuse and I guess he figured it out anyway, but he told me he got one minute in a coldly voice. So I turned around before he finished that sentence, took my jacket off while back to them. I took a long breath, hanging my coat over the back of my chair, turned around and asked his permission again, if I could sit. He looked at his trainee 
and let me sit down. Only then he asked me if I was okay. My answer was, I am now. So he started and kept 96 long minutes asking cross questions, both of them one after other. He told me that he didn't expect me or this end of the uh, interview. Uh, he just sit down and then the, what they started to chat again. He told me that he didn't expect me to do what I did at the beginning of the interview that I stood up and the my performance throughout after that. So and both of them were very pleased. See, they said that I passed, I passed my exam. But he also told me that they were, if they were still at sea and in common, they would offer me a job straight away. And his trainee seconded it. At the end, he asked me, how was my dad? Because they know him, not by just because of my name and his name matched, because his reputation and the senior pilot as when he used to be a hydrographer while both of them were at sea commanding their own vessels. So the lesson from this is uh, step up when time are toughest. Become focused, vigilant and the best in your darkest moment. The next one would be like this. Imagine you are in a group and have been training to compete not against each other, but together as a team. You have been doing this for this painful task every single day for last six weeks or even six months even. So once you complete today's task, you will be at the finish line together as a team, no matter what comes. As you are a group and the idea of that training is to complete the task together as a team. Now imagine you have been trained or training for last 18 long hours and the end line, but still you have to cross over a long high wall, roll through the stinky mud and barbed thereafter because before you crossing the line. There is none of you got a single strength to take a step or two. On the top of that, the instructor was just announced that if at least four or five of you step down or simply put it, if five of you quit, the rest of the group won't have to finish the course, not to wake up 4 a.m. next day or going through the same challenges anymore. We'll have plenty of downtime until you get your hard earned certificate. Now the thing is, will it be hard earned certificate? He looks at each other's empty face, all are empty face. You look at left, you look at the right, all empty face. They're looking for some strength, but nothing left it give. Then suddenly you heard a fainted voice amongst you and started, for example, reciting a poem uh, written by Kaji Nozul Islam back in Bangladesh. It's called Chol Chol Chol. In English, I'm sure it means that let's go push through the because we can. There was no tune, no rhythm, because even if it's a poem you have to recite is in a rhythm. That's the good thing for his, most of his uh, poem had a rhythm, but just the words. So what happened, that one voice become two, then three, and before you know, all of you are reciting the same poem with the perfect tune, perfect harmony, and perfect rhythm. By the time it you it make any sense to you, you are crossing the line together, shoulder to shoulder. Thing is that little voice was always there, but you never noticed, and if you did, you overlooked. But at the end, that voice made you to cross the line together instead of giving up. My friends, there will be many times like this you will face or probably already some of you have been through, but if you are not strong or work together, you will never find the success. Therefore, if you want to do something for yourself or for others, be that voice to lift the, those who lost the hope and doubting themselves. You will never forget or you will never regret for being helpful, respectful, and respectful to other people around you, so we all prosper together. As the 44th President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama II said, yes, we can. Now the lesson here from all this is lift up the downtrodden. All the thing I just told you, you may feel boring and futile to you, 
either because you are a high flyer or you are struggling to make that big breakthrough. I always has been and would like to be to make this by my utmost goal and to follow no matter where I am or my position amongst the group. I always lend a hand to the weak so they can also rise, guide them without expecting anything from them in return. Because one thing is for sure that you won't miss a beat from you where you are on who you are. People know you by what you do and how do you do and form your performance, form your reputation. And as I said earlier, that those two captains, they knew my dad just because of his reputation. So people will know you by your reputation. The thing is, you will never find any shortage of what you do and how you do, because that's how you are. One thing is that you don't know that guy you just help, you know, he or she, whoever that is that they were struggling through and they were looking for some. You lend them a hand, you raise them, and you didn't even ask for anything in return. That person would be he or she. One day, they will stand up for you, make that voice for you when you need them the most or you, when you need that little voice or little support without you been asking them because that's what you do. You don't ask people when you give something, you don't ask people for them to give you back. One thing, another thing, not one thing, I just said one thing, the another thing is, you can only show me what to do or how to do it once or twice. If I don't make an, if I don't notice how to do it, if I don't try hard to fulfill that word, the way I've been, the way they told me, and if I make, keep mistaking all the time, don't listen to it, and I don't do it for myself. I don't stand up and don't do anything. And I just back down just because I am not doing anything because I'm not, I'm mistaking all the time. So I back down. So all this time you've been advising me to do something and I didn't do it. So what is the point of doing it? Therefore, the base on this thing is that I said, never give up because you will not get the chance next time. So when you have the time, stand up and do what you do and never give up anything for any reason. So that's all my folks. So the lessons are start the day with the task completed find someone to help you through life respect everyone life is not always fair move forward don't be afraid to fail often take risk face down the bullies step up when times are to get toughest lift up the downtrodden and finally never give up now before i finish one question to all of you YouTubers, especially those are new. And the question is that, have you heard about TubeBuddy? It's a free app for your mobile devices and an extension for your browser on PC. It could be Chrome, Safari, Microsoft Edge, and so on. It's absolutely free to join, and you will be able to check how your channel improving, how you are doing, how is your, uh, your uh, contents are doing instead of five clicking on your um, YouTube studio you can just click one button or one tab you will find everything there for you those you got less than thousand subscribers can take the advantage of getting 50% discount if you prefer to sign up for paid version and use all the options as available for that option that you choose. But for disclaimer, this is not sponsored by TubeBuddy, uh, but you can help me by clicking the link below and pass the link to your others that you know. They also do, all, I mean the TubeBuddy, uh, they also do live one-on-one tutorials every Tuesday. So it's all explained for you to understand and what you can do to the to YouTube buddy. So when you join the tube buddy, when you install it and you join this tube buddy and on your dashboard it will tell that when 
the tutorial gonna be uh, what time because I it's it works there US time so wherever you are you have to adjust the time so nevertheless if you are still listening to me then a big big thank you for your patience please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already which helps me to create more content hit the like button or smash it if that is something you prefer share my video and ring the bell so you will be notified when i upload my next video may allah bless you all oh before i finish Remember, life is short, live long and prosper. So once again, may Allah bless you all and be safe wherever you are. Look after yourself and each other. Allah Hafiz.